Tigers up one nothing, one out, bases loaded for Wendell McGee. Up the middle, up Jamie Moore's glove, and it's safely in there. One in Carnacion, and Bobby Higginson come to score, three nothing. Now it's four nothing in the fourth. Shane Halter slaps up the middle. Alex Rodriguez, a good play, the good throw across, but not much else for the Mariners. We're in the fifth, five nothing Tigers. One on, no out. Juan Gonzalez. El Asun Grande, hombre, his 18, 7 0 the Tigers. Later that inning, it's 10 0. Bobby Higginson of Joel Panero, and he has successfully reached the 18 to 24 year old target audience. 22nd of the year, 13 0, 15 to 4 when it's over. The Tigers winning for the seventh time in nine road. Athletics, we got pictures. Manny Ramirez did not participate. He got the bad hand. Second inning, Cleveland's on 1 0, 2 on for his replacement, Bill Selby. Kevin Apier. Got him out on the front foot. Blue to right. Selby to do that. He compelled him to do that. Matt Stair is running in, making the fancy basket catch. Fourth inning, nobody out. Cleveland down 3 0. The man on the first. Will Cordero back to Apier. Miguel Tejada. Good pivot for the double play. Fourth inning, runners at first and second. Sandy Alomar Jr. off of Apier to short center field. Terrence Long coming. Makes the good catch, but bruised a rib on the play. And had to leave the game. Fourth inning, A's up 4 0, one on. Jason Bure, Eric Chavez, home, still going run. Deep part, 6 0, his 18th. And when it was done, the A's win it by a count. We've all been close to the Giants against the Mets, but the Mets going for the four game sweep. Here we go. Chris Berman there with Giants owner Peter McGowan. McGowan would like to see a little more of this. Richard really hits this number with two outs to Benny Agbayani. How many, Benny? That's two. I'm not saying, no, no, not this time. Where's that seven-year-old kid, Benny? Taking it in good spirits. Puts one out there. Fans had a problem with that a few days ago. Bottom of the fifth, no score. Russ Ortiz, here's strike three. Struck him out. Now Robin Ventura, Ventura, like the call. Scott Higgins, let him know about that. Be a tight duel. Got Ortiz and Rick Reed here in a one-nothing game in the sixth. Two on Ellis Burns. Base hit. Driving in a run, 2 0 San Francisco. We push ahead now, 9 0 San Francisco, 2 on for Ortiz. Uh, the pitcher had the stats. Puts that over the top. Oh, that was good. That was good. Giants open it up. Barry Bonds one for 11 in the first three of this series. Four for four in this one. The Mets who have still won 12 of 14 at home heard some boos toward the end of this one. Go easy. Russ Ortiz wins his third straight. He's up to eight and ten. Uniforms did not show up. Not MLB standard to start off here. Tom Glavin to Phil Nevin. Nevin got a good piece of that. Daddy's home. Two for four in this one. His 26th home run of the year. Uh, eventually. One nothing Padres. Finally at the top of the fourth. They'll feel relieved. Umpires back in there. Good looking duds. Bottom of the fifth. 1-1 one, one game. Jay with Tassik. 3-0. and Green line for the big cat. Rips that. Down the line and here we go. Oh, no, Jiffer Jones, 3-1 Braves. Fantastic. Starting to come apart. Brian Jordan, wild pitch. Colorado to third. Next pitch to Jordan. Inside, walked him. Puts two on. Javier Lopez. Uh, next man up. Javi. Left that up. Three run home run. Line drive home run is 19th of the year. Braves go up 6-1. And how to be young and a brave. Rafael Fercalias. Braves open the series with an easy win. Snap the Padres four game winning streak. Tom Glavin up to 15 and 6. The Phillies this season. And here he is against Kevin Sefcik. Another pitch. No, I'm all set. One out. Next batter, Scott Rowland. He's leaving. More beer for us. And then Pat Burrell is going away. Second inning. Johnson still going strong against Kevin Jordan. Tries to check up. He's punched out. We got one out. And Brian Hunter going away. Alex Arias. Checked again. Johnson fans the side two innings in a row. Third inning, no score. Kent Bottenfield against Damian Miller. Chopper rolling going for it. The good hose across. He gets the out. Now we're in the seventh all of a sudden. 3-2 Diamondbacks. Russ Springer on for Johnson against Doug Glanville. And hits it over some fencing they'd set up in the outfield. That's a homer tied at three. And then Rollins your batter. The other way, Jason Conti going after it. Nice catch for the out. Ninth inning, score tied. Runner at second and third. Burrell's up 2-2 count. Rakes Wendell. Puts him out. Tied at three. Extra innings are necessary. We're in the 11th. 3-3. Three, three. Jay Bales on third. Matt Williams is up. Could be a winner. Lines that off of Jeff Brantley. Diamondbacks go up 4-3. Hold on to win by that very score. Show them what they've won.
Major League Baseball game. So the game winner conked in by Matt Williams. Javier Vazquez trying to get his ninth win. Going well here in the fourth. Jeffrey Hammonds choking on a splinter. And then Todd Hollinsworth, he's going away. Todd Walker, held to go away. Next up, Brent Ming. Wiffle ball occurs. Julian Tavares strikes out. Now we're in the seventh. Vazquez against Nephi Perez. Close. It's a walk. The bases are loaded. Jeff Cirillo is the next batter. Wow. Couldn't hit that. Scoreless after seven. Ninth inning, extras up 3 2. Todd Helton picks it to the big crowd out and right. 28th of the year. Had two in this game. Eight multi homer games for him this season. Holds up 4 to 2. Kevin Brown serving it up. Two on here. Mark Kotze didn't get much on it. But it bounces in front, and Jesus Sanchez will come to score 5 2. The Marlins in front. Very next batter, Henry Rodriguez. Bueno. Devon White wants him, but he can't get there in time. Luis Castillo will come and score. Marlins increase the lead. 7 2 baseball game. Two batters later, Mike Lowell off of Brown. Ibid. Another double. Rodriguez will come to score. Many points are scored. Brown chased after an inning and a third. Seven hits, five earned runs, nine total runs. His quickest exit in five years. His ERA went from 2.47 to 2.72. You saw the Henry Rodriguez double. The former Dodger hit another one of those. The underdog is. It's not Pedro. He struck him out. It's a wide zone. Not Greg Vaughn. Greg, we hear you. Top of the third, two men on for Miguel Cairo. No home runs so far this year for Miguel. That'll be one of Pedro. Three run shot. Two for five with three RBIs in the game. Here's Steve Cox. He's struck him out. Pedro got him there. 6K. Pedro walking off the inning, though. Point to his right shoulder. He would leave after the fourth with right shoulder stiffness. Bottom of the sixth. Three nothing. Carl Everett at third. Nomar up. Dave Island pitches beautifully. And here this wafted into left center. Is it left or is it center? Gerald Williams thinks it's left. Steve Cox says it's center. Oh, no! Carl Everett would score. That opened things up. 3-1 at this point. Next man up, Brian Dawback. Dawback is shot down the line. That's going to drive in a run. Noma will score. Dawback with a double. It's a 3-2 game. They later tie it up. Now in the ninth, 3-3. Man on third, Billy Taylor on the hill. They intentionally walk Carl Everett. They intentionally walk Nomar to load the bases. Larry Rothschild avoiding the lumber, putting the pressure on Taylor. Rico Bronia, respect. There's a drive to right field. It's hit pretty well by Bronia. Back is Guillet. The new Red Sox gets that respect with the Grand Slam. Pedro came into the game, by the way, with a streak of 28 consecutive starts in which he pitched at least six innings. It won't catch the Bombers. Yankees starting three with Texas here in the first inning. Matt Parrish against Jorge Posada. 424 feet away from the top 20 in slugging. Catcher with 22 home runs, 2-0 Yanks. Gabe Kapler worked on his buys and tries today. Smacked that back up the middle base hit. That off Andy Pettit. Body building. 27 game hitting streak. Broke the club record already. Held by Mick the Quick, Mickey Rivers. Ricky Lede, ex Yankee, rips this toward the wrong guy. Bernie Williams, sliding catch. Or just grab. Here, Pettit facing Rafael Palmero. Getting wrong guy. Tino Martinez gets the one. Derek Jeter back to Tino. Beautiful double play, 3 6 3. Two men later, Pettit going to eliminate the last guy. That's Kapler. Oh, my. Uh, eventually, oh, my. Pettit. Would get involved and make the tag. So, got an easy game here. Derek Jeter, leadoff man, two for three, buries that two run shot. Yanks go up six nothing, and Andy Pettit with shutout ball for the first seven gets the win. It's up to 14 and six, winning his fifth in a row. That ties a career lost. First and four, the decimated Orioles. Brooke Fordyce going against his old team. First game in Chicago since he was traded. Loops that in. That'll do some damage. Gets Mike Soratka. Loops that in. He was one for two with two RBIs. It's a 3 nothing Oriole lead. Ryan Miner with two outs. Oh, no! Herbert Perry. His eighth error. White Sox lead the league in errors. And here, Luis Matos. Who knew? With two men on. First major league home run. A three-run blast. Long night. For Jerry Manuel. We're referring to Jose Mercedes, unbeaten in six starts. He is the only Baltimore starter with a winning record. Baylor off back-to-back three-nothing shutouts. Looking for some runs here. Fernando Tatis not helping things out. Sparkling play.
inning over in the third. Bottom of the fourth, base is loaded. Joe Girardi, grounder, grounds out. Mark Grace, though, he scores first run in 25 and two-thirds innings for the Cubs. The longest such run in the majors. Same inning. Bennis versus Jeff Houston with two on and two out. Now we have some damage. That down the line. Two runs coming in. Cubs take a 3-2 lead. Bottom of the fifth. Sammy Sosa time against Bennis. 36 home runs. 37. That's going out. Cubs go up 5-2. That, that would eventually land. So we're told. Cubs take it 7-3. John Lieber still hasn't lost since June. He moved to the Brewers. Paul Rigdon, uh, Rick, acquired in that big deal with Cleveland. How do you look tonight? Well, he was a little bit shaky. He gets into trouble here in the second inning. Ow! Demetri Young, but with nobody out to count one and two, I'll take one for the team. Now Pokey Reese comes up. Fly ball to center field. Marquise Grissom not able to get there. Now we've got runners on first and second. Three batters later, all right? Inning over, right? No, look at where the shortstop fielded that ball, and then look at the effort on San Diego Perez's throw, or should I say lack of effort. It goes as an infield single on an RBI for Steins, and the error allows Corky Reese to score. Top three, Casey strikes out, and Griffey is thrown out. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. Bottom five, Jeremy Burnitz. Ken Griffey going back, and yes, can. Reds get out of the inning. Bottom seven, two out, Jeff Jenkins is on second. Richie Sexton, Peter. Well, Richie Sexton, you know, you know, he's such a good athlete. He's finally learning to, 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 to make a little better adjustments, start the bat, bat a little quick, and that's, we talk about athlete, he's Jason Kidd's room made it five-star. Santiago Perez there, retires Steins. Brewers go on to win by the score of four to three. Sexton, uh, three for four. He's got 12 RBIs now in 14 games with Milwaukee, leading the Brewers in RBIs since coming to Milwaukee. Jenkins, three for four, and Rigdon, the other former uh, Indian gets his first win as a Brewer. Goes seven. Third inning, Astros up, seven zip, bases loaded, Jeff Bagwell. Got into that. Tim Bogar and Julio Lugo will come and score. 12 game hit streak for Bagwell. He did not steal home three times in this game. Astros up 9 nothing. Chris Holt pitching. Brian Giles looking. Holt, a complete game, five hitter, five strikeouts, giving away the result. Worked hard, but you knew the score was big already. Mark Wilkins throwing to Moises Alou. Home run. Alou, 21 of those. 10 0 game, 16 to 2 final. Moises Alou has hit two home runs in each of the past two games.